I look like a scary guy who runs, you know? Oh, like, yes. who like tries to drop weight. Oh. Rolling. Okay, so you're looking at insulating your van. So let's talk about spray foam. A few weeks ago, my friend Kate, who purchased a van and is in the process of building it out. It's a 2008 Ford E250. It's a van converted into an ambulance with the fiberglass high top on them. I bought it for uh, $5,500. With how many miles? 178 miles. Anyway, she's gotten to the point where she needs to insulate, so she asked if I could help her out. Now, when I insulated my van, I used a closed cell foam board. We're using inch thick Armax thermosheet. But when she showed me her van, I noticed that there was a lot of cavities. Yeah, yeah. The walls were all sorts of, uh, well, they weren't flat and the framework within the van was uh, a lot more crowded than what my van was. I have this ProMaster and it's a cargo van, so the walls are flat. So adhering foam board to it is pretty easy. But when you have a van like what she has, it's not so easy. And that's why we ended up going with spray foam. Archer, get over here. Stay. My cat escaped. What was I talking about? There are several pros and cons with spray foam. It's like quick and easy to use. It has like a dry time of 60 seconds and it cures within an hour. It's closed cell, it's moisture resistant, and it bonds to just about every surface. Downside is that it's kind of messy and it can get really pricey. So Kate ended up buying the DAP 200 kit from Home Depot, which is around $340. And the kit includes the spray foam cylinders, a hose with a spray gun, five narrow nozzles, five wide nozzles, some gloves, safety glasses, a little wrench, and a packet of lube. It basically comes with everything you need to do the job, but it might be smart if you went and snagged like a Tyvek out outfit or like a coverall, something that you can cover all your skin with because it does get really messy and also cover your hair and then like a respirator so that you could breathe and not worry about inhaling a bunch of fumes. Unfortunately, Kate only had one Tyvek outfit, so I had to improvise. So we only have one Tyvek suit but I have these big construction trash bags which are about the size of my body. That's gonna be my suit. <laughs> no one's gonna take our advice if you're laughing at it. <gasps> you do just look naked. Boom, my arms are real tight. <laughs> you look so good, I'm proud. We got the Speed X. This is just here for aerodynamics and uh, high visibility. The booties, I just thought this would be a good accent. A little addition to the all natural look that I'm going with right now. The best part, now this helps cool all your sweat. It's Cause you know, you're gonna lose a lot of weight in this outfit and that's one of the greatest benefits of this outfit is that you're working hard and you're losing weight at the same time. And another thing you should do prior to insulating with spray foam is covering up everything that you don't want insulation on because it gets everywhere. So windows, the floor, your electrical, your framing, anything that is exposed that you want to keep exposed, cover up. And Kate just used some house wrap that she bought from Home Depot. So with that, we had our suits on, Everything was covered that needed to be covered in the van, and we got started. First thing you gotta do is remove all the goodies from the kit, and then you can go into your tanks and tighten those down with the wrench they provide you with, which is terrible. I was very specific in saying don't over tighten. If you have your own wrench, I'd say use that, but if you don't, you can use the crappy wrench they give you. <laughs> you have your hose out with the spray gun on it, you can turn off the spray gun. There's like an on and off switch on it. And that's unlocked, but we want it locked right now because we're gonna open these canisters. And make sure when you're opening them up, you're getting an even distribution between the two fluids because if you don't, the mixture's not gonna be correct and then it's not gonna cure properly and blah. Watch out, Brock. Brock, move. This is important. I no, shouldn't have said not. his name. <laughs> well, once you open it up, you can go to the spray gun and either use like a trash bag or a bucket and spray a little bit in there to make sure that you're getting like a good consistency. And the instructions will tell you what to look for. Wow. And that's how they make the foam that comes off of waves. 
in the ocean. <laughs> and if it all looks good, you can lube your O-ring and then put your nozzle on. And we started off with the like the fine tip nozzle because we wanted to go with doing all of the perimeters of the spots that we wanted to insulate and then come back with the wider spray to like fill in the large gaps. So you're doing your so outside mm -hmm. and then you're and gonna you work in. in. The little bit of research I did is they said you start at the top because that's when your canisters are the most pressurized. So you'll have more control. It's not just gonna be like be math. Science. <laughs> Are you ready? I guess so. I mean... You want a math? Oh, uh, yep. Nervous. Don't be nervous. Okay. It's just foam. It's just foam. Toxic. <laughs> you gotta remember to unlock the thingy. Alright, locked and loaded. Locked and loaded, here we go. How quick does it dry? It depends on a lot of things, but that's already sealing up pretty good. And as you're going, keep in mind that it only takes like 30 seconds for the uh, spray foam to start setting, and it'll clog your nozzle tip really quickly. So now you lock it, take that off, shoot it in here like that. Yeah, there's a lot of gunk in there. Back at it again! Oh, I can't believe, look at this hole! <laughs> nice! So another thing I watched was like, you have to be kind of cautious on how much you're spraying, because if you go too crazy when it expands and it's in between little spaces, it might push out your van walls and you know, her top is fiberglass. So she's taking her time, making sure she's not spraying too much, and then giving it space to expand. Uh, oh yeah, and it doesn't hurt to have little like booties, little shoe covers, because when you're spraying, it gets everywhere. It's gonna get all over the floor, and you're definitely gonna step on it when you're like looking up and spraying and not paying attention to where you're walking. Now looking back at the footage, we definitely applied way too much to that first pass we were doing. It says you get 200 square feet from that kit when it's an inch thick. And we were easily going over an inch. And so it wasn't very long before we ran those tanks out. I'm just putting Parmesan cheese on. <laughs> Look, they have a whole ass house on the freaking picture. <laughs> like, <laughs> this box will insulate an entire two-story home <laughs> and the basement. Now, Kate had hoped we'd be able to insulate her entire van with just one kit, but it didn't end up working. And that's how this can get expensive. So I went in there and kind of like double checked the measurements to see what her total square footage was. We are done for the day. The kit that you bought, Yeah. it's supposed to cover 200 square feet. They also say to spray one inch thick. We were going two inches thick. Now that it's expanding, it's about two inches thick. And we think it's going to be roughly 250 square feet you probably have yeah. to cover. That's not accounting for the pockets inside the walls that I'm yeah. getting in. So we're going to pick this up in a few weeks. So we're back. It's actually only been like three days. Yeah. She mustered up some cash to buy another set. Tip, don't use your GoPro <laughs> when you do this because it gets that expansion foam on it and it's impossible to get off the camera. Now I know why when I watched all these videos, everyone was outside filming. This. So right now have your camera if you're filming, but cover everything you don't want yeah. anything on. Anyway, we got the second kit and this time I decided to go in and give it a shot. I was hyper focused on moving quickly. I used the widespread tip this time because she had done all like the detail work and so I was basically just going in and filling all these large portions of the wall or the side of the van. So I went in, I moved fast and it really only took me I think less than 30 minutes to cover that whole thing. And I was able to do it all with just that second kit. I did miss a few spots and I didn't spend a bunch of time trying to fill in the large cavities because I wanted to make sure I covered the walls completely. And I knew if I didn't get the large cavities, Kate could always go back with some gap filler and like fill them in and not have to buy another $340 kit. So roughly $700 with a combined time of about an hour, the van was completely insulated. It was expensive, 
but it was fast. Sounds a little yeah. more cavey in here. And it feels hot, so it's holding in the heat. So good. You're so strong. I know. <laughs> Did you guys know I work out? Now I know this won't be an option for everyone just because of the price tag, and I'm sure there are cheaper spray foams out there that people can find to do this. And there are also other methods to insulate. It just all comes down to the type of van you have and the amount of time and money you have to invest in it. You know, you could take what you want from this video, but definitely do some more research, see what other people are doing, and find the best method that fits your project. If you've got any questions, please, don't hesitate to you know, leave it in the comments, shoot me an email or a DM, and I'll get back with you and try to help out as best I can. And thanks for watching this short little insulation video. Should probably do more of these short videos. They're easier. When I first started my build, there was only like a handful mm, of people out there so with tor now. tutorials, yeah. and now, every type of person, every type of van, every option is out there and there's so many opinions and so I can understand where you see that and you get immediately intimidated. And that's where I'm like, watch a few and then just go for it because if you're gonna screw up anyways. <laughs> you watched more on this than I did, I think. <laughs>